Hey everyone, it's an all action location today. Mosier and I are going to be taking on ramps and jumps at this skate park. This will need resurfacing and the jumps ramps are possibly going to be redone in concrete which has a greater life expectancy. You can tell that they've taken a pounding over the years but Mosier 1 here will go gentle on them. As I take a walk around the park it will measure and draw it all out as we go. We will get to play with really cool features on Mosier today like layers, different path types for complex shapes, gradients, elevations etc. So let me show you. Actually just a note, if you notice this area is roughly over 4,000 square feet and it's just a little old me. <laughs> I don't need anyone else to hold a tape, write down the measurements or sketch out a drawing or anything like that, as you will now see. Just place this camera down and we'll set up. To activate Mosier, give it a flick of the wrist to rotate, launch the app, select close shape, and boom! Mosier sensors and Cooltech are in here whirring into life, and in but a moment, it is telling me that it is ready to go. Now, I'm going to start here along this edge and it is important if I am doing layers that I make a note of the first two points that I capture. I'll explain more about that later. So let's go. I am going to move fast and I'm going to move deliberately and place Mosier 1 down every six to eight seconds, pause for a moment and let Mosier capture that point. And off I go again. It is better to move fast and I'm not talking about breaking Olympic records fast here but a reasonable speed. You would think that it is better to move slowly but actually the quicker you are the more accurate the measurement will be. Right I'm just going to move around this obstacle here. I think they call it a quarter pipe but what do I know. Point is that even though I am taking the scenic route around Mosier 1 will still capture a straight line measurement from that point over there to this point here because I have set my path type to line. And now actually as well, if you look, when I place the Mosier 1 down, I am not crash landing it or stabbing the earth with it. And as a farmer boy from the west coast of Ireland, that is my tendency with tools to be honest. But this is more of an instrument. I wouldn't go around handling any electronic instrument, you know, with such abandonment. I simply place it down like I'm holding a fine ristretto coffee that someone has crafted with time and care and I will treat it the same. There we go. Hold it still for a second while Mosier captures the point. Wait for the audio prompt and on we go again. You notice that as I walk around Mosier is tracking and plotting my position on the app which is great because it means I don't have to write down any numbers and I don't have to draw anything out and as I get to the end here it will do the math once I complete the drawing and there you go it has worked out the total area of this space it has worked out the total perimeter I have not had to do one calculation. The accuracy of Mosier is plus or minus 0.5% in any direction, which works out at five centimeters over 10 meters, for example, or six inches in 100 foot. So I can be pretty confident that I'm getting an accurate estimate of this space. Okay, now one of my favorite features, layers. We're going to use layers to capture all of these ramps and jumps to ensure that these jumps or any other space, area, or shape that I measure from here on in dovetails and overlays correctly onto this original diagram that must share the first two reference points which if you remember at the beginning of this exercise I made a note of. We start here at the first reference point and move along to the second. The first edge I chose was approximately five to six meters or 15 to 18 feet in length. And the idea here is I want it to be as long as possible as this will reduce any human error I may make on my measurement to ensure that all these layers for all these jumps are positioned relative to each other I need to capture two reference points along this first edge ideally these points must be approximately four to five meters or 13 to 15 feet apart 
by default the path type is set to ignore line which means this initial measurement will not appear on the diagram and the path type will remain in ignore line until I change it. There we go. Which now that I have arrived at the first jump I will do just that. Select straight line Mosier 1 is now measuring the distances, the angles, the elevations as I move up and down this ramp. And there we have it, the first jump. And as you can see on the drawing, it has oriented itself correctly in relation to the original space that we measured. And now I can go on to the next jump and the next jump and the next jump. Another one of the things that I really like about Mosier is that we've built in this feature called Ignore Line which by default is in layers mode which I'm on at the moment so I need to make my way over to a ramp just across the way it's a bit of a distance and I know that I'm not going to make it there in six to eight seconds but I can pause and this point is ignored it's ignore point or ignore line I can take a breath I can plan my next move and then off I go again and when I get here I can swap from ignore line as a path type to line and then we can start measuring and as I move Mosier 1 is drawing out all the distances, the lengths the angles, the gradients, the elevations of this ramp and I don't feel rushed at all so there's no need for me to be crash landing or stabbing the Mosier stick into the ground I can take my time while still moving at speed reasonably you know I'm not moving at Usain Bolt speeds here and there we go we're nearly finished how long did that take? I'm not timing it obviously at the moment but that didn't take long and now I can move on to the next jump and so forth so for the next measurement I have taken the device out of the cradle and I'm going to go handheld that's because I want to map out the intricate curve on this quarter pipe I've switched the path type from line to trace and now watch how awesome this is as I trace the quarter pipe like so with Mosier 1 you will see that the complex shape is represented on the app at the end of this measurement which at the end we're going to look at our drawing I will show this drawing in a moment but I wanted to add this you saw me use trace which is such a cool feature for capturing irregular shapes but there was another way I could have captured the curvature and that is using arc as a path type I will show you more about that at the end okay right where were we as we look at the drawing we are looking in plan view so see mostly straight lines however if I jump into 3d view and zoom in we can see that curve traced on the quarter pipe every curve, swerve and bend has been captured we also have the area taken up by each jump if we dive into 3D view and pan around getting the lie of the land we can see we have elevations for example if I select a point anywhere on this shape we can see the X, the Y, the Z we can see this number here which signifies the elevation I can get a cross section between any two points and there we go we have the rise and run I can get the gradient and the angle too like so all this information helping to create an accurate estimate and therefore a more informed 
an accurate estimation of costs can be made on materials, labour, etc. Decisions can be made on the type of concrete and ratios due to the slope of the ramps, etc. Almost instantly with your years of experience you will know this once you see the information right there in the palm of your hand. And how long did I take to get to this point? Let me see. Over 4,000 square foot plus all the area of the jumps and 10 minutes later I'm all done here. I can email this drawing off to myself or a client or whoever it may concern. We have multiple file types for that, DXF for 3D applications like SketchUp Pro, AutoCAD, other file types like PDF, SVG, CSV, CSV++. So we know we can print it off, it will land nicely into the workflow of other software programs like Dynascape, Vectorworks, ArcSight, the whole works. All of this and there is more and more than I can show you today, all bundled into this tough little box called Mosier. Okay, I know I said that was it, but there's so much more that I do want to show you. Like, let's say you're an international landscaper, hardscaper, man or woman of mystery, and need to switch over your measurement units. If I select the cogwheel up in the corner here and go through to measurement units, I can switch between imperial and metric, even after the fact. Okay, we're well, actually, sorry, I nearly forgot. Remember earlier we measured the quarter pipe with trace for the path type and I said I'd show you to do it differently? Well, here I am again redoing it. I hide the original sub layer and then add a new layer and get my two original reference points so the jump is overlaid correctly onto my drawing. Select arc as a path type. I need three points to create the arc. I have one, now two and three. I'll finish up the measurements and now show you the drawing. Here we have a perfectly formed curve done with arc as a path type. I love having options which Moja One certainly gives me. Okay, right, I'll stop there and try and pick up other features in future videos or if you have any questions or a video you would like to suggest, drop a comment below.